All right, Darren, tell us a little bit about System Components and how we're going to use it in the Vision House Seattle Cascades. System Components is a synthetic underlayment manufacturer. Uh, we've been manufacturing synthetic underlayments for over 15 years. Uh, one of the grandfathers or pioneers in the, in the underlayment business. And the product specifically that we're going to use for the Seattle Cascades house is our Quicksilver uh, underlayment. Um, Quicksilver is a, a product that we've had in market for just over a year and a half. It, it's a product that uh, we designed specifically for metal and tile applications. Um, it has an innovative gasketing technology, um, whereas it, it, it literally can pass an ASTM D226 uh, uh, testing evaluation, uh, which is typically used for your self-adhered products. And uh, um, given with the low shrink construction and uh, uh, superior grab with our, our bottom side polymer, uh, rubberized polymer uh, underside, it gives a, a, a gasketing effect to the product. So um, we're calling it a hybrid technology between mechanically fastened uh, synthetic underlayment and, and yourself adhered. So um, it, it's the first product that I'm aware of that uh, can truly pass an ASDM D226 um, underlayment. So CR, from a building science standpoint, tell us why you are excited to use system components in your house. Yeah, so one of the things I've always been aware of is we've really pushed the envelope and tried to build homes for the average consumer the way experts would, right? That's the intention of this project is, is to demonstrate the way we would build the best home we could for people we care about as, as a collective group of experts across all the disciplines within home building is how, how important the things that buyers don't see are to the performance and the livability and the health and the comfort and the durability of a home. And so um, drainage plane, air barriers, weather barriers, all of those kind of physical impediments that, that allow a home to be durable and safe and comfortable are the most important part of the home, right? It's the structure and the ability to keep the inside comfort controlled and, and the moisture controlled and the outside weather gonna be what the outside weather is gonna be. And, and given that this is a, is a significant environment, right? It's up in the mountains, it takes high wind, it takes high rain. Um, there's a tremendous amount of weather impacts that we really were thoughtful about how we would build a sandwich in this house to manage weather. And so we've got a 50 year metal roof and underneath that we really need the performance of the underlayment to protect the wood and the insulation inside of that roof. And when we started looking at all the options as, as Darren talked about, we started thinking about what well, we may have to do a, a self-adhesed uh, underlayment in order to make sure that we can handle the wind-driven rain and some of the, you know, this is a 12, 12 pitch roof and some of the really significant weather impacts that we're gonna anticipate uh, along the life of this home. And when I saw the Quicksilver product, I became really excited because, you know, we knew this was gonna be a metal roof. We knew that there's a lot of products that aren't appropriate underneath metal roofs. And more important, it was very buildable, right? It enabled us to understand that in the middle of the woods, off grid, we can apply a product that's gonna really outperform the other underlayments in the market and give us confidence that when we button this house up, it's gonna stay dry and durable over a long period of time. So Darren, what made you and your team excited about participating in the Vision House Seattle Cascades as a demonstration project? And then also, if there was one thing that our audience uh, could take away about your products, what would it be? I'll echo literally what CR just spoke about, the, the, the ruggedness of the Seattle Cascades working in the, the Pacific Northwest. You're going to see wind-driven rain is a major factor in, in, in those markets. and. Uh, what better place to find a, a, a great house to to use that your product that you're saying that will gasket around faster so um, that's a great opportunity as well as work with CR uh, I've been a huge fan of CRs uh, I've watched his YouTube videos uh, just his passion on innovation and pushing the building envelope and better building practices um, in our industry has really been fun to watch and uh, just to hear his passion uh, uh, moving forward with with him, uh, it, 
it's very exciting. So CR, from a homeowner standpoint, talk a little bit about you know some of the comfort and other elements that you're excited about with respect to system components in your home. Yeah, so, so this is my personal home, right? This is where I'm gonna go escape from the real world and hide in front of a big fireplace in the middle of the woods. And, um, and one of the things that I recognize that whenever I go out into the environment in extreme weather is how important your shell is, right? If you're gonna go out and you're gonna go snowshoeing or you're gonna go paddle with orcas or you're gonna go you know, out camping for a while, the, the most important thing you have is your weather gear, right? That it works, that it's dependable, that it fits and that it stands up, right? It's, it's, it's not the sexiest thing that you bring on vacation, but it's the most important things when things get real. And, and, you know, I think a lot about um, aspiring people to make good decisions on the things that they don't see. And, and one of the most important things is you don't want to get 10 years into a beautiful home and have structural issues. You don't want to get 10 years into a beautiful home and start having staining on your roof and, and, and having to go tear off all the work you did uh, to redo it because you made shortcuts or you didn't think through the durability and the importance of these weather barriers in your home. And so the most important thing to me, honestly, is to choose a partner that gives me peace of mind. So once this project is done, you know, I can make a hot cocoa, I can light the fire, I can listen to the rain and not worry, I'm gonna be listening to that rain from the inside. Um, Darren, any uh, last comments that you'd like to make with respect to either system components or this particular project? Just kind of dealing back into the innovation for, for a sustainable roof it, it's a roof you don't ever have to replace right so quicksilver is made to last the entire life of the roof and it's backed by a limited lifetime warranty in discussing sustainability that's it's right there in the nutshell it's a roof you planning on you never have to replace dr mentioned a 50-year product that he's putting on top of it that's what it is, is designed for and how about you, CR? Any last comments? Yeah, I, I really want to underscore this because um, I think a lot of times people think of their, their their monthly utility bill as a big contributor to this. I think people think about the, the material that they're buying and they're using to construct a home as a big piece of sustainability. But the biggest by far portion of sustainability is durability, right? It's building something that will last the test of time. And when you really think about carbon footprint, the biggest cause of carbon footprint is turnover, right? It's the it's the uh, wear parts of a home that have to be bought, replaced, reshipped, replaced, the labor to put them in. And so the opportunity to pair um, such a really good underlayment um, above a really strong, you know, a lot of concrete and a lot of steel uh, building structure, um, and then top it with a 50 year steel roof. I mean, it gives me a lot of confidence when I think about the embodied footprint, that, that the, the story and the recipe that we're putting together for this vision house is a really credible way to inspire a lot of builders and architects to, to think about the long-term durability of their components, not just day one performance. Fantastic, thanks, CR. Uh, so John, would you, um, do you wanna say something about the prop? So I'll start off with a, a small piece of the Quicksilver product, actually took a roofing nail, put it through and then pulled it out a little bit. Took a, a simple mason jar and uh, filled it up with some water, like this, put the cap on there, nail head, or nail sticking out. And this has been on like this, uh, gosh, for about five or six hours now and there's no moisture at all. It's been, and then you can see the nail inside there. And then again, that's the gas getting properties, protecting from the water getting in to underneath the product. Well, the inside of that jar looks like the uh, uh, the current weather conditions in Seattle. So that's a, that's a, good example. That's a pretty cool visual. Thank you for sharing. 